Hello again. Today we're going to talk about changing the hood latch and sensor. The usual reason you would need to do this is because your alarm starts going off randomly. When your car is locked, opening the hood will set off the alarm. In the case of a faulty sensor, the sensor will randomly tell the car the hood is being opened, even when it's not, triggering the alarm. This especially becomes a problem in the middle of the night when your alarm wakes you and everybody around you up. And when you run to your car, you notice it's completely untouched. Another manifestation of a faulty hood sensor is noting a short-lived hood open message while you are driving that resolves without doing anything. Luckily, the replacement part for this job is only about $40, and the job itself is pretty straightforward. All parts and tools needed will be listed in the description. Now, let's get started. The first step is to release your hood. Pull the lever on the driver's side. Next, open the hood all the way. There are two mechanical latches located here, but only one on the passenger side has a sensor. Next, remove the plastic grill. Compress the four tabs and pull it out. The LR3 grille will be slightly different. So here we see the hood latch. There are two T30 Torx bolts holding the assembly on the car. There is the mechanical locking mechanism itself. There is a sensor on the bottom and the pull cable coming from the driver's side. In addition, there is a wiring harness on the back side of the latch. I'm going to use a hex screwdriver with a T30 bit. The bolts are actually fairly high torque, so you may need a ratchet for this portion to break them loose. Here is the latch from the top down. There is a spacer plate that you can remove and set aside. Then you can remove the sensor harness. Removing these types of connectors is always pretty hard the first time. I ended up needing to pry it off with a screwdriver while depressing the lever. Once off, you will need to remove the sensor in order to access the cable attachments. There are two clips to depress that will allow you to slide off the sensor. I just used the T30 bit to push it on the clips, but if your replacement comes with a sensor, you can just pry back the plastic and break off the sensor, since you will be getting a new one anyway. Now to pry the cable off. It's connected in two spots. This is spot one, And this is spot two. The latch sits against the car like this. The hood comes down and depresses this mechanism, trapping the metal loop inside. I will demonstrate with this screwdriver. Notice how the mechanism locks in place and traps the screwdriver. Now when you pull the lever on the driver's seat, it pulls the cable and releases the hood. While you have the mechanism free, you might as well add some lubricant to the mechanism. The plastic sensor is seen here. It's a simple switch that is depressed when the hood presses down. Errors with this connection or the wiring harness will trigger an alarm when the car is locked. Before reinstalling the latch, I will spray the connector with silicone spray so it's easier to remove next time. Now to put the latch back in. Reconnect the cable. You might need gloves since it requires quite a bit of force. Next, reinstall the sensor. It will slide back on and clip into place. A little bit of dexterity will be needed here. Put the spacer plate in place and while holding everything together, thread one of the bolts in. Then tighten them both, but leave loose enough to slide the latch side to side. Now that it's somewhat in place, you can reconnect the sensor harness in the back. While the latch is still loose, try to close the lid. The latch will slide a bit left and right, and this will give an approximate final lateral position. 
If you leave the latch all the way down, it's actually very hard to latch the hood because the metal loops barely reach. Tightening the bolts while the latch is suspended will make closing the hood much easier. Check to make sure both latches are roughly even in height. Also notice that the driver side latch has no sensor. Now that everything is tightened down, replace the grill, make sure everything lines up and then press it in. Finally close the hood. It should be tight when it's closed and the gaps from the top of the hood to the lights should be about even on both sides. And that's it. Hopefully your alarm will stop going off in the middle of the night. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for tips, tricks, and repairs for Range Rover Sports and LR3s that can end up saving you thousands over taking it to the dealer. I post videos about once a week, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.